what's up everybody welcome to another youtube video we are back with another asana uh, video so in this video we will be talking more about the basics of asana so like i have said before in my other videos uh, on this topic on asana that asana is re really basically a tool to track the progress of your project it is usually usually just uh, you know the changes are usually always made by your project manager who does what um, how long does one task take um, and you know by how long the task must be done what kind of task depends upon the other so let's jump right into it I'll try explaining as much as I can for the basics this should be enough so I've told before that just like this, you can just hit add task. You can always add a new task. You can hit a, uh, you can enter a name. It's gonna pop up automatically for you, like ready to write. Um, another task, I am so blank right now, I'm sorry guys, but that is how another task can be added. And then you can assign it depending upon who is on your team. You can invite people um, to uh, Asana right um, you can always share this to people you can uh, invite people and then once they have joined and you have authorized them you can assign them the task or they can assign them themselves right so um, you have some fields like assignee due date but you can always toggle them on and off right and then you can you know uh, add some apps you can add some apps, you can add some forms, and you can customize this from right here. But let's just get back to task right now. And now, once you have assigned the task and everything, what you can do is you can either mark it complete or you can hit this tick button. That will kind of blur it out. So basically, it just looks kind of like unimportant so it basically just means that it is finished so if sometimes you're doing task and there's a big possibility that somebody accidentally hit the tick so just dive into it and check on the details if any file has been added any description has been added anything that just lets you know that this was not a mistake and this task is actually done you could just go ahead and move it on to the complete section depending upon how your storyboard looks so this is one important thing right so because usually um the purpose is you know moving it to the last stage and then marking it complete but in case you always uh, anyways see it on here or something you should just double check to make sure everything is working so i have told this in multiple videos that there's dependencies of out of task whether one task depends upon the other you know that can be added here it's, it's always going to be a task right and then there's description you can add subtasks you can add files you can share this task and that is about it asana is not really complicated and then you can you know uh, have different views of it uh, so this is the most simplistic list view board view is my favorite since that is how I usually use it timeline is also uh, nice to see that who is doing what on what days you can track it all uh, and then we have the dashboard for some s analytics that how much work is done how much is left so it's quite cool actually um, it is great for um, small project managers this is a great tool to use so that is all about the basics of asana if you need to know anything in specific do tell in the comments and so that is all from this video like comment and subscribe and i will be seeing you in the next one